thousands of people fill NRG Park for Texans training camp. It is the very best way to get close to the players and maybe even get an autograph. Sports reporter Adam Wexler has been braving the very hot sun out there. So, Adam, the, the big question is how did the team do today? Well, that is a good question for this day three of practice since the team was actually hitting. The first day for the team to be in pads when all the players, the coaches excited about getting out of training camp and the fans were here as well. So they were excited to hear the hitting that was going on out here for this third day of practice. A little offense versus defense, a little bit of what you're really trying to get out of training camp. Get yourself ready for the preseason and then obviously get yourself ready for the regular season, which is rapidly approaching when the Bears will be in town. Coach O'Brien thought from the first day of pads perspective, there's a little bit of everything. I haven't had the pads on, you know, in a long time. So uh, uh, really proud of this team, though, for, for grinding it out on the first day there. So it was a good, good start that way, and uh, we just got to keep getting better every day. There were some decent runs, some nice, nice runs down there in a the red area at the end of practice. So, you know, when you walk off the practice field, it's never as bad as you think, and it's never as good as you think. And as long as you have that attitude, we'll get everything corrected and try to get better tomorrow. The message from Coach O'Brien sounded very similar to the players we talked to coming off the field, especially the work in the red area. Advantage defense early, but again, it was just the first day in pads. Live out at NRG Park, Adam Wexler, KPRC, Channel 2 Sports.